so we've come to a restaurant that we came to last week and it's called the Atiyah Beer. Good afternoon from the Algarve. Uh, we've come to a restaurant, Atiyah Beer. Um, I'll do a pin drop if I can to show you where it is. And it's a really lovely restaurant. So today um, we're going to talk about healthcare here in Portugal um, and also dentist care. Now you've had more experience with the doctors. Yes, yes. Um, two years ago I got a blood clot in my leg and uh, I was working in the sun and not drinking enough water, which is a very important to do in Portugal. And I ended up with a uh, thrombosis, a blood clot in my leg, which was a very serious thing to happen. But I am a very ultra cautious person, so I always like to cover all bases. So when I um, investigated I, and I got my electric supply into the house, they also supplied... When we first moved here. Yes. I also got myself uh, a personal insurance with EDP, which was €12.50. Now, that covers me for up to 90% of my healthcare, and it's including operation surgery or anything else. Now, for twelve fifty, trust me, it was a godsend because my bill could have been huge absolutely huge but also being a resident you do get health care as well which is via the uh, the state health care and it's a big waiting list and so how, how much was um when you first went to see the consultant and you had a scan how much was that the, 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 the a, a scan would have been anywhere from 120 euros but with the health care system for edp it only came to 20 euros and um, your consultation as well. My consultation with an expert can be up to 50 to 60 euros, if not more. Again, it's, it's set by EDP at 20 euros. So it, it is actually, if you compare it to the UK and private health. It's better. It's, very, it's a lot cheaper. But if you do take out also um, uh, private insurance, it's even cheaper still. Um, but after you using the private health insurance for over a couple of, well, a couple year of and a half, yeah. um, they did cancel on us. So they then, didn't tell us. So what you do then is you go to the continent insurance property uh, and they do exactly the same policies at 12 euros 50. So I know when I tried to go to the doctors in out, the doctor's always been ill. So I've had a couple of chest infections and the pharmacy has actually saved me and the pharmacy have been brilliant i've gone in i've told them i've got a chest infection and they've actually given me the antibiotics that i needed which has been a godsend for me i don't know why they just don't do it more often um anyway um yeah i got some amoxicillin i actually had a tooth abscess as well yeah the amoxicillin how much did it cost you I think it was about eight euros or something. It yeah, wasn't expensive. Pres prescription charges are actually cheaper than the UK. I think they're around six seventy to seven euros. Prescription charges per item. Yeah. Which is which in itself is excellent. Uh, you do have to wait a little bit longer, but if you're really desperate, there are private doctors you can see, and the charge are between forty to fifty euros. Yeah, you can see our local private yeah. doctor, Doctor Sergio, and he's excellent. And a lot of them are covered by the um, insurance policies. So a lot of them do take the insurance. Yeah. Um, on the dentist side of things, here I've had to go to the dentist three times. The very first day that I landed in Portugal, I broke my tooth on a stake and I ended up going down and I was so nervous and I went to see a dentist that somebody had recommended and they were absolutely excellent and um, I think I had a crown and I think it was about 400 euros. You see, I'm a bit cheaper than that, I broke a tooth and I went to a local dentist in Messinge, which is a little town and she fixed my tooth and put a crown on it and she only charged me 40 euros yeah and i i went back there she i went to the one that abe went to i'm not I'd... i'm not cheap but it was very very you like saving money i like saving money 40 but... euros compared to 400 euros i don't think it's yeah and my tooth is fine yeah it was one that was recommended by the local um the local people that have been here for quite a while 
and they'd actually said, oh, you ought to try the, the girls in the singe that are dentists. Um, so we go down there now. But it's always knowing, isn't it? If you speak to a local that's been here for, say, 20, 10, 20 years, they'll tell you the best place. A lot of the go. bars you go into, if you're asking questions, which I do like going to the bars a lot, will direct you to probably to the best places. Yeah. The cheapest areas and the best quality. And we do know of a couple of people that sadly have had cancer and they have had the best treatment on the health system here. Um, sometimes you do have to go out of the area. Um, there is Faro Hospital which is near but I know if somebody's very ill that they've actually told them to go up to Lisbon but they've said that they've had the best treatment and I know of one lady that um, she'd gone up to Lisbon and she'd got brand new treatment for cancer that had just come out so um, yeah the health service is excellent it yeah but the thing is is one thing that they do say it's got no frills if you go to the hospital um, don't be expecting but unlike to unlike the UK when you sit down with a doctor you get time to talk to the doctor so have you took your friend to hospital didn't you Yes, um, he was feeling very dizzy. It's quite funny, really, because he, he was taking medication, old medication. It turned out he was taking opium. Tablets, yeah. And he didn't know why he was, his head was spinning. And I went in with him to consultation, and he actually had time to sit down and talk. Unlike the UK, it's like a big conveyor system. You have to in and out, in and out. So this is just the normal, regular hospital? Normal, regular hospital. And I think it cost, um, I think it was free. I don't think it charged him anything, apart from the prescription, of course. So the regular hospital is actually free if you go inside. Again, it's, quite, it's very, very good. Yeah. Angela, so what... And the thing is, is here, is that you don't have to wait to um, see a doctor if you pay private. You can usually just go in the same day. Yeah. And, one of the things that they do have here, which is quite strange that you, you might not know, is that in shopping centres they do have clinics, which are like mini hospitals. So if you're not feeling well, you can just go into, say, Mars Shopping. They've got a private health um, clinic there. They will take your blood, you'll get seen by a doctor, and you'll get either referred to a specialist, or um, giving some medication. And um, if you're not sure about the quality of it, you can always WhatsApp the stair waiting because most of them are actually five stars. Yeah, in the it's centers. like a drop-in service. It's quite bizarre, really. And it's the same with the dentist here. Um, there's no waiting time, really. If you've got a problem with your tooth, just ring them up and they usually fit you in that day, if not the next day. Um, and I know that's a huge problem in the UK that um, people are having to wait weeks. I had to wait months when in the UK to have a tooth yeah, extracted. Yeah, you did. I had to wait months. So really, it's thumbs up from the health care yeah, and, yeah, and the, can't dispute it. And it's the dentist here. So it's not something that you should really worry about. But do make sure you take an extra precaution. Get yourself a little insurance for your electric company or your phone deep yeah. as a supermarket. I know Mill Millennium Bank, They, when we looked into it when we first come here, they do actually have um, a health service different plan. Um, health but that is plans, quite expensive and they are expensive I think they're about a thousand to maybe even two thousand a year so go by EDP or the supermarket depends what kind of cover you want and obviously age is a factor with that the older that you are you know you might um, well I'm a swing, I'm still a spring chicken so I'm yeah, okay yeah, you are yeah but the older the you are maybe the more cover you feel more comfortable in actually um but the 12 euro 50 one was extremely good enough for me. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah. Sorted me Until out. Until they cancelled on you. Yeah, but it lasted a year and a half. You, you got your money's worth, babes. Oh, more than that. I got a thousand's worth of treatment out of it. Yeah. At a couple of hundred euros. So we just thought we'd let you know what the health service is like here in the dentist. Then, okay. Called Porto Preco 
grill head or I think that's Poca how you Poca Preta Grillada. Oh, and, and this is it, black pork. Um, it's black pork, which is um, something that we serve here and it's absolutely delicious. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, we've brought Little Belle with us today because she loves a little bit of pork. Thank you. 